three. One, two, three. Brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Get back. Oh, oh, oh. One fifth of what you can explode that guy on. I'm Larry Gelwix, the head coach of the Highland Rugby Team. You know, this isn't Mamby Pamby, let's hold hands and sing Kumbaya. I mean, I, I love to compete. Varsity win-loss record is 415 wins and just 10 losses. And we've won the national championship 19 of 26 years. You know, when I volunteered to coach this team, that was 36 years ago. I think I did it because, well, I love the game of rugby. And I thought it would be fun to be a coach. And looking back, my motives have changed. You know, winning's important. You know, we're a sports team. But to me, it's not the most important thing. And what we have to do now is stay humble, stay healthy, and stay focused. It's about building championship boys before building championship teams. I didn't have a particularly close relationship with my father. I grew up and I never felt good enough. I never felt that I fit in. I never felt that I measured up. And I think that has shaped a lot of my life. I don't want these young men to grow up and feel that they don't belong. And one of the things I try to do with my players is connect with them and have a close relationship. I think what motivates me is that this is something that I can do that makes a difference. That I can be an influence on a group of 200 plus young men every year and help them become better young men. We're a team of Christian values, but a non-denominational team. I tell the boys, if you're a Catholic boy, I want you to be the best Catholic boy that you can be. If you're a Baptist boy, you be the best Baptist boy that you could be. I expect all the young men to honor and live their religion. I believe that we're all children of God. And I think a faith-based life helps us to be better citizens, better students, better husbands, better fathers, and better rugby players. I'm Larry Gelwix. I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a rugby coach, and I'm a Mormon.